RCMP investigators learned about this improvised technique from an unlikely source, Justin Bork, the man now serving five life sentences for murdering three Mounties and injuring two more in Moncton in 2014. Bork told the Mounties he had considered using the method but didn't. CBC News has chosen not to describe the technique, but it is crude and temporary. And when they learned about it, Mounties tested a series of semi-automatic weapons common in Canada. Investigators found that with some regularity, they were able to get the weapons to fire continuously in full automatic mode. Guns most susceptible to the technique are mid-range caliber firearms based on a military or paramilitary design. Fully automatic weapons are illegal in Canada. And RCMP Commissioner Bob Paulson told Public Safety Minister Stephen Blaney the use of this technique could result in more gun violence, mass casualties or copycat crimes. Paulson also issued a safety alert to police across Canada. Deputy Commissioner Peter Henschel told CBC News Paulson wanted to inform the minister about their findings in case the government wanted to make any changes to regulations or laws. It took the public safety minister six months to write back. Blaney said that while ill-advised, the use of the technique does not meet the criminal code definition of an automatic firearm and that the law is robust enough to protect the public. Blaney added that possessing and using firearms, including semi-automatics, is part of Canada's heritage. Earlier this year, Parliament passed a law giving Cabinet the power to decide how guns are classified. The Liberals have promised to repeal that power and leave it up to the RCMP. Alison Crawford, CBC News, Ottawa.